All right, so in this video, we're going to review um, the two types of special right triangles. And we're going to do this because they're going to help us create the unit circle um, that we learned in pre-calculus, OK? And so back in geometry, there were two special right triangles that you were exposed to. Um, one is the 30, 60, 90 right triangle, and one is the 45, 45, 90 right triangle. And what these are in reference to is the angle measures. It just so happens that if your triangle has angle measures 30, 60, and it is a right triangle, so 30, 60, 90 right triangle, that the proportion of the side lengths are going to be x the hypotenuse is going to be twice x, and then the side across from 60 is going to be x times the square root of 3. And so for the purpose of our trig ratios that we're about to do, we're going to just let x be equal to 1. We're going to have the most basic triangle um, that we're looking at here. So if x is equal to 1, then and we have a 30, 60, 90. Okay, then our hypotenuse is going to be 2. And the side opposite from 60 is going to be the square root of 3. Okay. The other type of triangle is the 45, 45, 90 right triangle. That's the other type of special right triangle that we need to know. And again, 45 and 45 and then 90 reference the angles. And one of the properties that is true about um, this triangle is that because the angles are congruent, okay, that means that the legs must be congruent to each other. And so this is always going to be an isosceles right triangle every time you have a 45, 45, 90 triangle. And so again, the most basic kind of triangle we're going to look at is when x is equal to 1. And so if this side length is 1, then this rule says that this side length must also be 1. And the hypotenuse must be square root of 2. Okay, And so this is going to be our foundation for what we are going to then create the unit circle off of, like I said. But I first want us to go through and review all of our trig ratios Okay, We're using these triangles. And um, hopefully somewhere along the way you guys have heard the phrase Sokotoa, okay? And so Sokotoa is a tool to help you remember the top three most common trig ratios. And so sine of an angle is the relationship between the opposite side and the hypotenuse, okay? Cosine is going to be the adjacent over the hypotenuse, and tangent of the angle is going to be opposite over adjacent. And let's talk about what that means. So if I'm looking here at the sine of 30, so I am going to look at a right triangle with this angle of 30. Okay? And so the opposite, I'm going to use this ratio here, the opposite of that is the one across from it. And then hypotenuse is the side across from your 90 degree. And this is the adjacent, just so that we know on this first one here, okay? But if I want to find the sine of 30, then I'm going to do opposite over hypotenuse. And so if I'm looking here at my 30, 60, 90 triangle, I'm just going to use the most basic form, x equals 1. And so that's going to be 1 over 2, which is going to give me 1 half. Okay. Now if I wanted to say x is 10, okay, and then that means this is 20, even when I do this trig ratio, sine of 30, 10 over 20 is still going to give me 1 half. Okay, so no matter what x is equal to, any time I want to find the sine of 30, it's always going to reduce to 1 half. Now, if I wanted to find the tangent of 45, so I'm going to draw my 45, 45, 90 triangle. 
like so. Okay, and it doesn't matter which one I look at because they're both 45, but we'll look at this one here. Okay, so again, this is our opposite, and this is our adjacent, and this is our hypotenuse, and so tangent is TOA opposite over adjacent. So opposite over adjacent. And if I'm using, again, x equals 1 as my, like, most reduced form for x equals, this is going to give me 1 over 1 or 1. Okay, and so the tangent of 45 degrees is 1. And again, if I said this is 10, and this is 10, and this is 10 times the square root of 2, any time I were to do opposite over adjacent, I'd get 10 over 10, which would give me 1. This ratio, the tangent of 45 degrees, is always going to be 1, no matter what x is equal to, okay? If I wanted to find the cosine of 45 degrees, again, I'm going to use the 45, 45, 90 triangle. Okay. And so here is opposite on this side here. Here's my hypotenuse. And here's adjacent, right? And so cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. Ka. Okay. And so in this case, if I do adjacent over hypotenuse, that would be 1 over 1 over the square root of 2. Now, um, on your calculus exam, it does not matter if you leave a square root in the bottom. Um, I do know that your pre-cal teacher and your geometry teacher um, probably had you rationalize the denominator. Okay, so what I want you to know is 1 over root 2 is the same as root 2 over 2. Those are the same number, and we can use them interchangeably. Okay, so 1 over the square root of 2 is just fine as a final answer, but 2 over the square root of 2 is the same number. Okay, it's just rationalized in the denominator. All right, and then our last one we're going to look at together here, the tangent of 60 degrees. So I'm going to draw my 30, 60, 90 just like it is in my picture, but this time I'm looking from the 60 degree angle, okay? And so this time my opposite is across from that 60 degree angle, which means adjacent is that smaller side and hypotenuse across from the 90 degree or the longest side for that right triangle always, okay? And so tangent is going to always be that same, opposite over adjacent, okay? Opposite over adjacent, tangent of 60. So if I'm looking at my formulas up here, opposite here would be square root of 3 over adjacent which is 1. So we get the square root of 3 as our final answer on this one. All right, so for practice, I want you to fill in all of the ratios for each one of these. So we already know the sine of 30 is 1 half. We found the tangent of 45 was 1. We found the cosine of 45 to be 1 over root 2 which is the same as root 2 over 2. And we found the tangent of 60 to be root 3. And so your practice problems are to go through and fill out the rest of our table here.